am back in my living room and um, got the sewing machine out. Now, um, when I made my bigger hot tent last month, um, I put windows in it, as some of you know, and I have got a lot of feedback on the windows, comments, questions, people asking, you know, how did you put that in? How do I do that? Um, so I've decided to add a window to the smaller hot tent, my solo backcountry tent. Um, I did have some uh, plastic left over. Um, I've actually got it down there on the tent and it's quite a bit. So I've decided to put a window in the back wall of the solo backcountry tent and uh, I'm gonna do that today and show you how I do it. So if you have a tent and you wanna put a window in, this video could help you to do that. So uh, I'm gonna take care of that and I'm also going to uh, do a little bit of repairs to my stove jack and uh, I'll show you that in a sec. All right, so I have the smaller hot tent, as I've been calling it lately, my baby, my baby hot tent, um, because it is uh, an eight and a half by eight and a half solo. Um, I have had other people in it, but it's very, very tight fit. Um, so I have the tent laid out. Wow, what a difference laying this tent out compared to the last one. Uh, it was super easy because it's so small. It just seems so tiny compared to the other tent now. Um, so I had this nice big piece of plastic uh, actually left over from the other project and uh, what I've decided to do is put a window up here uh, it's going to be a triangle window like the like the one on the other tent and uh, I'm just going to put it uh, about here I will cut it out and then uh, I'll show you how I'm going to put it in so I have my piece of plastic here. Now what this is, is it's from um, a place called JT's Outdoor Fabric in Barrie. Um, I'm sure you can get it other places. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming you can get it other places. Um, this is 30 gauge plastic. Uh, I guess technically it's vinyl. 30 gauge and it's rated for minus 30. Um, so hopefully it doesn't crack. Um, I don't think I'll have any issues, but I guess I won't know that until it actually happens. So um, we'll see how that works out in the field. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I've got this beautiful large piece left over. And uh, I thought, you know what? Why not put a window in the baby hot tent? So that is what I'm gonna use it for. Here's the seam for the tent and here's the other seam for the tent. And honestly, I'm just gonna eyeball this because um, I don't really think it needs to be perfectly done. Um, now the back side of the back panel of this tent where I'm gonna put the window actually has a seam down the middle. Uh, it shouldn't really have any effect except it might be a little bit tougher to get the sewing machine through that one spot and I'll just kind of have to uh, turn the wheel by hand. So not a big deal again, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I think I'm gonna put uh, the window here and this is actually a great way to show where the center is because the seam does go right down the middle so if I use that to kind of figure out where um, or how I'm going to put the triangle uh, I could basically use that as a guide So I eyeballed where to put the window and I just measured it and I'm like exactly 100% bang on, exactly um, measured. So I guess my eyes are pretty, are pretty straight. <laughs> I managed to locate a pen, so I'm just gonna lightly uh, outline where I wanna put the window because I'm really happy with this spot. This is gonna be um, cover it over anyway, so you're not going to see it. Okay, so now I have a rough outline drawn on there already, and I have my window. I don't know 
that you can see it. It's very clear. and It's not very big. It's just small, but I just want to see how it goes first. And again, like with the cracking issue, you know, if something happens, then I can just easily cover this with a piece of canvas. So the first thing I need to do um, is open up the bias tape. Uh, this is going to go around the window um, and help me to be able to stitch it in nicely. And it also makes it look really, really pretty, actually. Um, so the bias tape comes as such. And um, I actually got a little bit of a wider one than last time, which doesn't really matter, um, I don't think. Um, but I could actually use this one as this side, but I do like the extra width because then I don't have to worry about the double-sided tape um, getting mixed up in the sewing machine and uh, it just makes it really, really messy to work with. So first of all, I'm gonna um, just figure out how much I'm gonna need. Sorry, my angle's really bad here on the camera, so just kind of squash down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim these to match how much I'm gonna need for around the window. And always go like way over on these, not way over, but I mean, a good amount over just in case, you know, you have some kind of an issue. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna need. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the iron and I'm going to iron these open uh, just so I have some more bias tape to work with. First thing I'm gonna do is put something down on this table because I've actually burned it before uh, when I first got it. So now they're all ironed nice and flat. Okay, so I got my piece of plastic here and uh, it's all ready to go. And I've got my bias tape here. So um, this is obviously the bottom one because it's just a tad bit smaller. And these ones go on either side. So what I have here is double-sided tape. And uh, you can pick this up at most craft stores. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these upside down so that I can apply the double-sided tape. Now what you wanna do is you wanna have the double-sided tape on the inside edge of the triangle. Not on the outside edge, but on the inside edge. So this will be like the top of this. So I'm gonna put it here on the bottom and then when I flip it over, it'll be on the inside edge of the triangle. What you're going to do is remove the other side, the backing of the double-sided tape, and then flip it over so that the double-sided tape is on the inside edge of the window. And give it a good push it on real nice. So there you can see it, and the sticky part is on the top part so the inside of the window. I actually messed this up the first time I did it, um, which is why I'm kind of going over it. Doesn't really matter which one goes first. This 
this is why I put the bottom one on and that's just personal preference. I thought it would make a nice, um, it would just look cleaner if both of the sides were overlapping on the bottom piece. Um, you can do that however you want. It's not gonna make any difference in the overall effect. I just thought it would look a little nicer. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just trimming the edges off. Um, again, uh, the video that I watched on doing the boat canvas for the boat window, um, they cut it after they sewed it, but I just find that, that this all gets stuck everywhere and overlapped and I just don't want it to get into the mix. So um, I also see here that I cut the window a little bit crooked here and there's some uh, quite a bit of vinyl sticking out. So I'm just going to trim that. You don't want the window sticking out over the border. So there's that. And then I'm just going to cut these really nice. There we go. All right, so this is what your window should look like at this time. So here's the front of the window with the, with the nice bias tape stuck to it. And now we're going to go on the back. And you can see actually right through the window where the double-sided tape is in here. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the double-sided tape and I'm going to put it right on top of where it is on the other side, but on this side. And just the double-sided tape on here. Okay, I have my window here that I just showed you guys. And uh, this is actually going to be the outside where I put the green bias tape. So I am going to lay that down right on the pen lines that I made earlier where I um, outlined the window. And I'm just gonna lay it down right on top of there. So I've got it right where I want it, pretty much. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to hold the window in place but pull off the, um, the double-sided tape in the back while I'm holding the window to the tent. And then you just stick it right to the canvas. There's two. Make sure it's nice and secure. So there's the window actually stuck to the canvas of where I'm going to put it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the tent over to the sewing machine and somehow jam all this material in there. <laughs> and I'm going to take um, the needle and I'm going to put it down and I'm going to sew all the way along the outside edge of the window. So there's no glue there. All the glue is on the inside edge of the window here. So there's not uh, a problem with the needle getting stuck in the glue. And um, this will attach the window nicely all the way along the outer edge to the tent. tiny ways in um, so that I can avoid the glue but still hit the plastic. Your biggest issue with this is going to be um, making sure that you don't sew the tent together in the wrong place if there's like something stuck underneath. Um, and just getting to this area, that's really the hardest part of this whole thing. Okay, so here's the top. This is what I've sewn so far along here. Just did the corner there. And now I'm gonna go across the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to back stitch here on this corner, and then I'm just going to start here and go down and that's just for ease of all of this to keep all of that out of this little area just makes it easier mm -hmm. 
So I've just finished off this corner and cut the, the thread. And now I'm going to reposition the window so that this is back at the top. Um, that way I can get rid of all of this stuff here. <laughs> it's just way too much stuff in the machine. So. Okay, so now I've got it back at the top and I'm gonna set it properly and then just run down this one line and then the window will be attached. Okay, so I finished the sewing. Um, as I showed you, I sewed all the way around and now I have uh, the tent inside out. And um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut uh, a triangle out, but I'm not gonna go right to the edge of where the stitching is. I'm going to go um, probably about the thickness of the bias tape all the way around. I'm a horrible cutter, by the way. <laughs> okay, so I've taken away the excess material and it looks like I left a good amount here. I'm just gonna trim this a little bit. Got that a little bit closer so you can see it. So basically what I did was I left about uh, just a little over an inch all the way around from where the stitching is, where I attached um, the bias tape slash window to the canvas. So what I'm gonna do is what I did actually is I took the scissors and I did a miter cut on an angle. This one went straight up. But here in the corners, I put a cut on an angle so that um, I could go in. Now what I'm gonna do is, this is the side where the glue is, the inside of the bias tape. So I'm gonna actually lift it up so it goes off of the glue and I'm gonna fold it under so it makes a nice edge. Now I like to have a little bit of the green showing from the other side, um, on the inside of the window, which I did on the other tent, I kind of like that. So I'm just doing that again, um, but that'll be up to you. we go okay so my glue gun is nice and hot and basically I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna stick it right underneath that lip and just slide it all the way down just keep pressing glue into it So that's nice and sealed. And the same for the other two sides. And that's that. And the window is done. I'm going to set the tent up outside um, tomorrow in the daylight when I get home. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I just flipped over the tent and uh, flipped it back right side out. So that is the outside back uh, wall now of the tent and there is the window all done. Looks pretty nice. I'll set it up outside so you can take a look. And um, that is as easy as it is to put a window into a tent. All right, I got the tent up. The window is in. Looks pretty cool. Check it out. All right, so here's the window from the inside. Ta-da! <laughs> I think it looks so cool. I 
got the pole here so I can't back up too far. There we go. And you can see outside. Probably at night time I can lay here, sit here and look at the stars and the moon and maybe some animals, who knows, some snow falling. Yeah, I'm super pleased with it. So as you can see, my stove jack on the small backcountry tent um, has gotten a little bit of a beating and um, what I'm going to do is I just put it on the floor. I've just got the one layer here. The rest of the tent is all kind of stacked underneath itself. Um, I've just got a piece of cardboard underneath. Now I'm going to take my high heat gasket sealant and I'm just going to run it along the edge here and kind of define the hole a little bit better. And um, as you can see, there's a bit of fraying going on here. And uh, so I'm just going to put a nice thick coating of the um, high heat gasket sealant on here. Hopefully it hasn't dried up too much since I used it a couple of weeks ago. It's actually been about a month since I used it. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and kind of put a nice thick layer around the edge here. So I'm just making a really thick layer around here, especially where it's fraying. Should help to keep it all in check. All right, so there's a close up of what I did there. Just added a nice thick coat all the way around, um, and especially here where it's fraying. Um, I'm going to pull it up a little bit so it doesn't get stuck to the cardboard. And uh, hopefully, that should be good. All right, so we'll just let that dry. 